we're here today. I'm actually at Vin Expo and I'm at the Portuguese stand or Portuguese area. And I'm here with two winemakers um, who are part of a, a band of rogue winemakers called the Duaro Boys. Okay. And some of their, yes, that's right, they play music too. And I, I just got through tasting through a range of wines from the short name, Crosto, and they're sensational. And then the other, the other brand that, that they're producing is called Quinta, Quinta Vale de, de Maria. So, Cristiano and also Miguel, tell us a little bit about what, what about still wines from the Douro? No, you start. I'll start. Okay. okay. Well, this is something new. Uh, the Douro has been known for the production of port wine for ages. And in the recent years, we, um, we also wanted to explore the, the other side of the coin. So we have been making dry reds since the uh, early 90s. Uh, using our our local fruit, port grapes, so mixed vineyards, you know, and very very different approaches into winemaking, different aromas, different flavors. I think the the wines have been very well accepted, um, and you know, port is still a fundamental part of the Douro, but uh, the Douro wines, the Douro reds, are also becoming. Um, uh, they're coming and um, coming along quite quite nicely, and I think we'll be we'll be seeing some very nice surprises in the future. Well, one of the things that I found surprising tasting through is you don't use oak in most of the wines, and so the, and and there is a real purity and freshness to the fruit that I, I was surprised by. What what is the is it the technique that you're doing, or what 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 can you attribute that to? Um, there is there are many factors that contribute to the. Um, the style and the quality of our wines. Um, it starts in the vineyard, of course, like all wines. We in the Douro have about 80 different grape varieties between white and red. On the red, uh, on the red varieties, we have a wide range of uh, Portuguese or uh, grape varieties. And in most old vineyards, uh, we use more than 20 different grape varieties. Right. So the complexity of our wines come from the diversity of those varieties, and some are very uh, enhance the fruit, some enhance the flowery flavors, acidity, uh, color. So there's this complexity that differs us from everybody else in the world. We also have, in terms of soil and climate, a unique combination of soil and climate. Schist, it gives a lot of minerality to our wines, and um, the, the climate enhances the fruit side. It's very cooling in summer, in the winter, and very hot in summer, but with cool nights, so we right. get that special fruit flavors, which you get into the young port, vintage right. port. It's very right. intense fruit. It's truly a, a, a different approach. Right. Uh, it's, there's no Cab Merlot, Shiraz, Pinot Noir, nothing like wrong with those, but we uh, we are exploring our local local indigenous varieties, and this is something very exciting, and this is something you have to prepare your, um, I usually say that you have to prepare your senses to, to this new experience, mm. and you will find that this is something something very, very interesting, you know, to explore this different fruit, and as Cristiano said, it's not just the grape varieties, it's the climate, it's the soil, it's the regions, the terroir, it's, everything is new there, and right. it's extremely exciting. And I think in the in a short period of time that the Doro wines have been around, I think we have been making some some quite impressive results, you know, with the recognition of the international press, with the quality of the wines. Right. The wines are well priced, I think, they're not overpriced, and that's another thing that is important. And we start, in, we start to have also um, decent volumes to make a, a critical mass for Doro wines. Right. Uh, and I think there's, um, there's uh, another important point. We are the only region in the world that produces two world-class wines. One an established one, port, and the other one we are creating, right. the, the Douro wines. Um, it also, we also combine the old traditional methods of making vintage port by foot treading, I know, and fermenting that in the lagards. We do that with our reds, with especially with our top reds, right. um, with the most modern vinification methods. So we do those at the same time. We start by treading the grapes, crushing them by foot, and then passing on and fermenting in small stainless steel, temperature controlled. Right. Yeah, we use the combination of everything to take the most out of um, uh, our grapes, our terroir, our, our grounds. Plus, one thing to say also is that these are very um, food-friendly wines. Right. And that's something extremely important nowadays. And 
people are getting very surprised at what, what can be matched with. You know, they, they're very versatile. Right. Uh, from entry level wines and oak wines, as you said before, uh, they're very, very nice to drink you know, by, by, the, by themselves, by the glass. And then we have the high end stuff that are very serious world class wines that still we don't know yet, but they still they have a very long potential to be aged. Right. And uh, I think we're on the right track. I think the door is coming along, and I think in the next five to ten years, the Douro region, more than other regions in Portugal, but the Douro will be definitely one of the, the regions to watch for, for high end quality wines. Well, certainly my experience tasting through, I would I would concur that they're ex exceptional wines, and I think they've got great potential. So just a quick look at the labels again. And sadly, these aren't available in Singapore, but hopefully that will be changing sometime soon. It will be soon. Very soon. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.